In this video, we're going to create multiple uplates on the pipe and drape assemblies around the ballroom. We will start by using the lighting instrument tool to place a lighting device next to one of the pipe and drape assemblies. Activate the lighting instrument tool in the spotlight tool set. Click on the instrument symbol resource thumbnail list in the toolbar. Under additional content, select lighting color kinetics and choose the Color Blast 12 symbol. Zoom in on the top left side of the room. Click once in between the first pipe and drape object and the stage steps. Then move your cursor to the left and click a second time to set the rotation and place the lighting device. Use the snap loop to zoom in on the lighting device. Click and drag the left side midpoint of the device up to the bottom, outside corner of the first pipe base and acquire a smart point. Then move down to the next pipe base and acquire a second smart point at the top outside corner. Find the midpoint between these two smart points and release the mouse button to move the device. Switch to a right isometric view to take a look at the device in 3D. You'll notice that it appears upside down. Let's use the set 3D orientation settings to rotate the device. With the lighting device selected, go to the object info palette. Scroll down and check the set 3D orientation option. Set the Y rotation to 180 degrees, then switch back to a top plan view. Next, let's create a new label legend for this lighting device. Go to the spotlight menu and then under label legend, choose Label Legend Manager. Click the Add button, name the legend LL-2, enable the color and focus attributes, and click OK. Make the new LL-2 legend the active legend, then click Edit Layout. Place the color and focus labels as shown. Click Exit Symbol. Right-click on Windows or Control-click on Mac on the lighting device and choose Assign Legend to Instruments. Choose LL-2 and click OK. Now we will create a focus point on the drape using the Focus Point tool from the Spotlight toolset. Then we will give the device a purple color. Activate the Focus Point tool in the Spotlight toolset. Click on the Preferences button in the toolbar. For the focus point shape, choose Locus Points Only, then set the default class to Focus Points, and click OK. Align your cursor with the center of the lighting device and the drape. Click once to place the focus point. Name this focus point UL-1, then set the height to 6 feet, and click OK. In the Object Info Palette, set the rotation to 90 degrees. Now right-click or Control-click on the lighting device and choose Focus Instruments. Choose UL-1 from the list and click OK. Then in the Object Info Palette, set the color to uh, G990. Next, we will edit the field angle and brightness of the light. First, let's take a look at the default beam. Switch to a right isometric view. Right-click or Control-click on the lighting device and select Turn On. Now render in Final Quality RenderWorks. When the render completes, you will notice the light does not fill the drape section and is very faint. Let's go ahead and adjust the beam angles and increase the brightness of this light. Switch back to a wireframe render mode. With the lighting device selected, go to the Object Info Palette and set both field angle values to 30 degrees. Then right-click or Control-click on the device and choose Edit Light. Increase the brightness to 200% and then click OK. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the changes. Render in Final Quality Render Works. The light now spans this section of the drape and is much brighter. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the mirror tool to duplicate this device and then change the color. 
First switch back to a top plan view and select the lighting device and the focus point. Activate the mirror tool in the basic palette. Use the center of the next base to set the mirror axis and duplicate the device and focus point. Select just the lighting device and change the color to G855 and the object info palette. Now select the two lighting devices and the focus points. Use the mirror tool again to duplicate them to the other side of this pipe and drape assembly. We now have four lighting devices and four focus points along one of the pipe and drape assemblies. Go ahead and use the mirror tool techniques shown previously to duplicate these four devices to the other three pipe and drape assemblies. For all of the duplicated lighting devices, we need to choose their corresponding focus points. Right click or control click on the first duplicated lighting device. Choose Focus Instruments from the context menu. The focus point for this device should be UL-2. Choose UL-2 from the list and then click OK. Go ahead and repeat this process for all of the duplicated lighting devices. Once you have focused all of these devices, use the Select Similar tool in the Basic Palette to select all of the focus points. Activate the Selection tool, hold the Shift key, and click once on each of the three focus points on the stage to deselect them. Now in the Object Info Palette, uncheck the Show Focus Point Name option. Finally, let's take a look at all of the lights in 3D. First, in the Navigation Palette, set the Seating-Classroom class to Invisible, and set the Seating-Presentation class to Visible. Now switch to a right asymmetric view, and render in Final Quality RenderWorks. Switch back to a top plan view when you're finished.